Greetings, and God bless you, my precious brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit has guided you to this video today because our loving Heavenly Father wants to reveal to you the incredible ways in which He is preparing you for a life-changing miracle. Rest assured, our God is a God of miracles, a God who knows your unique struggles, and a God who delights in transforming the lives of His children through His supernatural power. He is the God who has a specific plan for your life, the God who has numbered the very hairs on your head, and the God who is intimately acquainted with all your ways. In this powerful message, we'll explore the 10 extraordinary ways in which God is preparing you for a miracle that will forever change the course of your life through the wisdom of His Word and the testimonies of those who have experienced the miraculous touch of God in their lives, you'll discover how God is ready to break through your challenges, fulfill your deepest desires, and shower you with the abundance of His love and favor. When we choose to trust in God's intimate knowledge of our lives, His unwavering commitment to our well-being, and His ability to perform miracles that are perfectly suited to our unique situations, we position ourselves to experience the supernatural outpouring of God's life-changing power in every area of our lives. So if you've been facing seemingly insurmountable obstacles, if you've been longing for a breakthrough that seems impossible, or if you've been feeling like your challenges are too great for even God to overcome, this video is for you. And don't forget to share this faith-building message with those in your circle who may be in need of encouragement, hope, and the reminder that our God is a God of miracles, who knows us intimately and delights in transforming our lives through His supernatural power. Subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, and give this video a like to help spread this transformative truth to even more people who need to experience the miraculous touch of God in their lives. May the Lord bless you abundantly as you choose to trust in His intimate knowledge of your struggles, lean on His unwavering commitment to your well-being, and believe that He is preparing you for a life-changing miracle. Remember, your unique challenges are not too difficult for God to overcome. Your specific desires are not too great for God to fulfill, and your trust in Him will lead you into the place of divine favor and supernatural breakthrough He has in store for you. Keep believing, keep standing in faith, and watch as He surprises you with a miracle that will forever change the course of your life, a miracle that will leave you in awe of His goodness and love for you. Number 1. When life takes an unexpected turn, it's easy to feel lost and confused. But what if these sudden changes are actually part of a greater plan? What if God is using these moments to prepare you for something extraordinary? Divine disruptions are those unforeseen events that shake up our carefully laid plans. They're the job losses, the relationship breakups, the health scares that catch us off guard and leave us wondering, why is this happening to me? But here's the beautiful truth. God often uses these very disruptions to redirect our paths and align us with His perfect will. Think about Joseph in the Bible. His journey to becoming a leader in Egypt was far from smooth. Sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused and thrown into prison, each of these setbacks seemed like a cruel twist of fate. But in reality, they were divine setups, carefully orchestrated steps leading to his ultimate elevation. You see, God's ways are higher than our ways, and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When we're in the midst of a disruption, it's hard to see the bigger picture. We're so focused on our immediate discomfort that we miss the growth, the lessons, and the preparation taking place. These divine disruptions serve multiple purposes. They humble us, reminding us that we're not in control. They strengthen our faith, teaching us to rely on God, even when circumstances seem dire. They refine our character, chipping away at our rough edges and molding us into the people God created us to be. Sometimes, these disruptions are God's way of course correcting our lives. We might be heading down a path that seems right to us, but God in His infinite wisdom knows it's not the best for us. So He allows a disruption, a closed door, a sudden change, to guide us back to His perfect plan. Other times, these disruptions are preparation for a greater calling. 
Just as Joseph's time in the pit and in prison prepared him for leadership, your current struggles might be equipping you with the skills, patience, and wisdom you'll need for your future purpose. In these moments of uncertainty, it's crucial to hold on to faith. Remember that God is not surprised by your situation. He's not scrambling to find a solution. He's already working behind the scenes, using every detail of your life, even the painful and confusing parts, to weave a beautiful tapestry of purpose. So instead of resisting these divine disruptions, embrace them. See them as opportunities for growth, for deepening your relationship with God, for developing resilience and character. Trust that God's love for you is unchanging, even when your circumstances are in flux. Let hope be your anchor in these times. Hope not in your own ability to figure things out, but in God's faithfulness to complete the good work He's begun in you. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And above all, let love guide your response to these disruptions. Love for God, trusting His heart even when you can't trace His hand. Love for others, knowing that your trials might be preparing you to help someone else down the road. And love for yourself, extending grace as you navigate these unexpected turns. Remember, my friend, that God's plans for you are good. They're plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So when life throws you a curveball, when your plans crumble, when you find yourself on an unexpected detour, take heart. This might just be the divine disruption that leads you to your miracle. Number two, when you feel that inexplicable restlessness deep in your soul, take heart. For it's not just ordinary unease, it's holy discontentment stirring within you. This divine dissatisfaction is a precious gift from God, a sign that He's preparing you for a life-changing miracle. Just as a loving parent nudges a child towards growth, our Heavenly Father is gently prodding your spirit, creating a hunger for more of Him and His glorious purposes. This holy discontentment is like a spiritual alarm clock, waking you from complacency and igniting a fire in your heart. It's the voice of the Holy Spirit whispering, There's more for you, my child. So much more. As you feel this restlessness, Remember that it's a beautiful indicator of God's work in your life. He's tilling the soil of your heart, preparing it for an abundant harvest. Think of Moses at the burning bush, a man content with his simple life as a shepherd until God stirred his spirit with a holy discontentment. That divine restlessness propelled Moses towards his destiny, leading to the miraculous deliverance of an entire nation. Your own holy discontentment could be the prelude to something equally extraordinary in your life. This hunger for more of God is a blessed state. As Jesus himself declared, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Your yearning is not in vain. It's a promise of fulfillment. God is awakening desires in you that only he can satisfy, drawing you closer to his heart and his plans for your life. Embrace this holy discontentment as a friend, not a foe. It's not meant to discourage you, but to encourage you towards greater heights in your faith journey. This divine restlessness is a sign that God sees potential in you that you may not yet see in yourself. He's calling you out of your comfort zone, inviting you to trust Him more deeply and to step into the fullness of your calling. As you navigate this season of holy discontentment, draw near to God in prayer and meditation on His Word. Let the Psalms of David, who often expressed his own spiritual longings, become your prayer language. Pour out your heart to God, sharing your desires and frustrations. He delights in your honesty and is faithful to respond to the cries of your heart. Remember, this restlessness is temporary, but its effects can be eternal. It's a catalyst for growth, a doorway to deeper intimacy with God, and often the precursor to miraculous breakthroughs. Just as a butterfly must struggle against its cocoon to emerge stronger, your period of holy discontentment is strengthening your spiritual muscles, preparing you for the glorious future God has in store. So, my friend, take courage. Your restlessness is not random. It's divinely orchestrated. God is aligning your heart with His, 
synchronizing your desires with his perfect will. This holy discontentment is evidence of his love and his active work in your life. Embrace it, lean into it, and watch expectantly for the miracle that's surely on its way. Your hunger will be satisfied, your thirst quenched, and your faith rewarded beyond your wildest dreams. Trust in his timing, for he who began this good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Number three, when God begins the process of prophetic pruning in your life, it may feel uncomfortable or even painful at first. But take heart, dear friend, for this is a sign of his deep love and care for you. Just as a skilled gardener tends to his plants with precision and purpose, our Heavenly Father lovingly shapes and refines us to bring forth abundant fruit in our lives. The Lord, in his infinite wisdom, sees the full potential within you, potential that you may not even recognize in yourself. He knows the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. With this knowledge, he begins the careful work of pruning away anything that hinders your growth or distracts you from his calling on your life. Think of a vine heavy with leaves, but bearing little fruit. The gardener with expert hands removes excess foliage to allow more sunlight and nutrients to reach the fruit-bearing branches. In the same way, God may remove certain activities, relationships, or habits from your life that, while not necessarily bad, are preventing you from fully embracing His purpose for you. This pruning process is deeply rooted in Scripture. Jesus Himself taught about it in John 15 too, saying, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit He takes away and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. These words remind us that pruning is not a punishment, but a promise of greater fruitfulness to come. As you endure this season of pruning, remember that God's ultimate goal is for you to experience a more abundant life in him. He desires for you to be firmly rooted in his love, drawing strength from his word, and producing the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Through this process, you may find your priorities shifting, your focus sharpening, and your heart aligning more closely with God's will. What once seemed important may fade into the background as you discover the true riches of walking closely with the Lord. This is the beautiful transformation that occurs when we surrender to His pruning work in our lives. Be encouraged, beloved, that this season of pruning is preparing you for a life-changing miracle. As you yield to God's refining touch, you are being positioned for greater impact and influence in His kingdom. The temporary discomfort you may feel now pales in comparison to the joy and fulfillment that await you on the other side of this process. Trust in the Lord's timing and His methods. He knows exactly what needs to be pruned in your life and when. Sometimes, he may remove things suddenly, while other times, the process may be gradual. In all of it, He is working for your good and His glory. As you navigate this season, draw near to God through prayer and meditation on His Word. Let the promises of Scripture be a balm to your soul, reminding you of His unfailing love and faithfulness. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage you and speak life into your journey. Remember, dear friend, that you are not alone in this process. The Master Gardener is with you every step of the way, tenderly caring for you and cheering you on. He sees the beautiful fruit that will come forth from your life, and He is committed to bringing it to full maturity. So embrace this season of prophetic pruning with hope and expectation. Though it may be challenging at times, know that it is leading you to a place of greater fruitfulness, deeper intimacy with God, and a life overflowing with His blessings. Your miracle is on the horizon, and through this pruning, God is preparing you to receive it with open arms and a heart fully devoted to Him. Number four, when God begins to work in your life, He often starts by cultivating talents and abilities that may seem unrelated to your current circumstances. These divinely imparted skills are far from random, they are essential pieces of the miraculous puzzle God is assembling in your life. Just as a master artist carefully selects each color and brushstroke, 
Our Heavenly Father is meticulously developing supernatural skills within you, preparing you for a life-changing miracle. Consider the story of David, the shepherd boy who became king. As he tended his father's flocks, David had no idea that the skills he was developing would one day serve him as the leader of a nation. His ability to protect the sheep from predators, his keen eye for spotting danger, and his unwavering courage in the face of adversity were all divinely orchestrated preparations for his future role. In the same way, God is working in your life right now, honing abilities that may seem disconnected from your present situation. Perhaps you've discovered a talent for organization, a knack for comforting others, or an unexpected aptitude for problem solving. These are not coincidences or mere hobbies. They are supernatural skill developments, carefully curated by the creator of the universe. As we read in Ephesians 2.10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This verse reminds us that God has a plan for each of us, and he is actively equipping us with the tools we need to fulfill our divine purpose. Think of your life as a beautiful tapestry that God is weaving. Each skill, each experience, each seemingly unrelated talent is a thread in this masterpiece. While you may only see a jumble of colors and patterns from your limited perspective, God sees the complete picture. He knows exactly how each thread will contribute to the final, awe-inspiring design. Your random talents are far from random. They are divine deposits, investments made by a loving Father who sees your potential and is preparing you for greatness. That musical ability you've been nurturing, it might be the key to touching hearts and changing lives in ways you never imagined. The leadership skills you're developing in your local community group they could be preparation for a global ministry that will impact thousands. God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. While we may not always understand the purpose behind the skills He's developing in us, we can trust that He is working all things together for our good. As you continue on your journey of faith, pay attention to the supernatural skill development taking place in your life. Embrace those seemingly unrelated talents and abilities with gratitude and excitement. Each one is a sign that God is actively preparing you for something extraordinary. Remember, just as David's time in the fields was not wasted, but was crucial preparation for his destiny, your current season is not a waiting room, but a training ground. God is using this time to equip you, to mold you, and to prepare you for the life-changing miracle He has in store. Number five, when God begins to orchestrate a life-changing miracle in your life, he often starts by weaving a tapestry of divine connections. These prophetic partnerships are not mere coincidences, but carefully crafted encounters designed to propel you towards your destiny. The Lord, in his infinite wisdom, is strategically aligning you with specific individuals who will play pivotal roles in your journey. Think of these divine appointments as threads in the grand tapestry of your life. At first glance, they might seem ordinary or even insignificant, but each interaction holds the potential to unlock doors you never knew existed. Just as Ruth's chance meeting with Boaz led to her redemption and a place in the lineage of Christ, or how Esther's connection with Mordecai positioned her to save an entire nation, your seemingly casual encounters are pregnant with purpose. The Bible reminds us in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 that two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. This truth resonates deeply in the kingdom of God. Your network truly becomes your net worth, not in material wealth, but in spiritual influence and impact. Each person God brings into your life carries a piece of the puzzle, a key to unlocking your miracle. These prophetic partnerships may manifest in various ways. Perhaps it's a new friendship that blossoms unexpectedly, offering encouragement and support when you need it most. Or it could be a mentor who appears at just the right moment, imparting wisdom that shapes your path. Sometimes, it's even a brief encounter with a stranger whose words spark a revelation in your spirit. As you navigate these divine connections, it's crucial to remain open and attentive to the Holy Spirit's guidance. Often, 
the most significant partnerships come disguised as ordinary moments. That person you keep bumping into at church, the coworker who always seems to have a word of encouragement, or the neighbor who invites you to a Bible study. These could all be divinely orchestrated connections. Remember, in God's economy, no relationship is wasted. Each interaction, no matter how brief, has the potential to plant seeds of transformation. Your miracle may not come through a single dramatic event, but through a series of seemingly small yet divinely appointed encounters. Moreover, these prophetic partnerships are not just about what you can receive, but also what you can give. As you connect with others, you become a vessel through which God's love and power can flow. Your testimony, your gifts, and your presence may be the very catalyst someone else needs for their breakthrough. Embrace these divine appointments with an open heart and expectant faith. Be intentional in nurturing these relationships, for they are the soil in which your miracle will take root and flourish. Pray for discernment to recognize these God-ordained connections and the wisdom to steward them well. Trust that the Master Weaver is at work. Every thread, every connection is purposefully placed. Your miracle is not just about you. It's about the beautiful tapestry of lives interconnected for God's glory. So dear friend, keep your eyes open and your heart receptive. The Lord is moving in your midst, bringing people across your path who will play crucial roles in your story. Your life-changing miracle is unfolding, one divine appointment at a time. Trust the process, cherish the connections, and watch in awe as God's perfect plan unfolds in your life. Number six, when God sets out to prepare you for a life-changing miracle, one of the most profound transformations He works on is your mindset. This miraculous mindset shift is a cornerstone of your spiritual growth and readiness to receive the blessings He has in store for you. Just as a gardener prepares the soil before planting seeds, our loving Father cultivates the fertile ground of your mind, making it receptive to His wisdom and grace. The renewal of your mind is a gradual yet powerful process. As you immerse yourself in God's Word and spend time in His presence, you'll notice a subtle shift in how you perceive the world around you. Challenges that once seemed insurmountable begin to look like opportunities for growth. Problems that used to overwhelm you now become platforms for God to showcase His power and love in your life. Think back to the story of Joshua and Caleb in the Bible. When the Israelites sent spies to scout the Promised Land, most saw giants and insurmountable obstacles. But Joshua and Caleb they saw the same land through eyes of faith. Where others saw defeat, they envisioned victory. This is the kind of supernatural perspective shift God is working in you right now. As your mind aligns more closely with God's truth, you'll find yourself approaching life's trials with a new sense of confidence and peace. You'll begin to see yourself as God sees you, not as a grasshopper in the face of giants, but as a beloved child of the Most High, capable of overcoming any obstacle through His strength. This renewed mindset is crucial for your miracle readiness. It's like tuning an instrument to the right frequency. When your thoughts are in harmony with God's promises, you become more attuned to His voice and more receptive to His miracles. You'll start to recognize His hand at work in even the smallest details of your life building your faith and expectancy for greater things to come. Remember, dear friend, that this transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, a daily choice to filter your thoughts through the lens of God's truth. Some days, it might feel like an uphill battle as old thought patterns try to reassert themselves. But take heart. Each time you choose to trust God's perspective over your own limited view, you're taking a step closer to your miracle. As you cultivate this miraculous mindset, you'll find yourself naturally aligning with God's will for your life. Your prayers will become bolder, your faith stronger, and your heart more open to the incredible plans He has for you. You'll start to dream bigger dreams, not because of your own abilities, but because you're tapping into the limitless power of your Heavenly Father. This renewed mind will also impact how you interact with others. You'll find yourself extending more grace, speaking words of life, and seeing the potential in people that others might overlook. 
Your transformed perspective becomes a light in this world, drawing others to the hope and love found in Christ. So embrace this season of mental renewal with joy and anticipation. God is preparing you for something extraordinary, and it starts with how you think. Let His Word wash over you daily, renewing your mind and transforming your outlook. As you do, you're creating the perfect conditions for your life-changing miracle to unfold. Trust in His timing, lean into His wisdom, and watch as He turns your challenges into testimonies of His faithfulness and love. Number 7. When you find yourself in a season of waiting, remember that God is orchestrating a beautiful symphony behind the scenes. These divine delays are not setbacks, but rather sacred moments of preparation for the miracle that's on its way to you. Just as a master potter carefully shapes clay into a magnificent vessel, our Heavenly Father is molding you into the person you need to be to receive and steward the blessing He has in store. Consider the story of Abraham, a man of great faith, who waited 25 long years for the fulfillment of God's promise. Through those years of anticipation, Abraham's trust in the Lord deepened, his character was refined, and his spiritual muscles grew stronger. When Isaac finally arrived, Abraham was ready to be the father God called him to be. Your story is no different, dear friend. This waiting period is your training ground, your spiritual gymnasium where faith is being built and character is being sculpted. In these moments of pause, God is teaching you invaluable lessons. He's cultivating patience in your heart, a virtue that will serve you well when your miracle arrives. He's instilling perseverance, showing you how to hold on to hope even when circumstances seem bleak. This waiting room is where your trust in His perfect timing is being fortified. Remember, our God is never late, but He's seldom early. His timing is impeccable, and He's using this delay to align all the necessary elements for your breakthrough. Just as a farmer must wait for the right season to plant and harvest, God is preparing the perfect conditions for your miracle to flourish. During this waiting period, draw near to Him. Let His Word be your anchor, finding comfort and promises. Like Isaiah 40, 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. This is not just a pretty verse, it's a powerful truth. As you wait on God, He's renewing your strength, preparing you to soar when the time comes. Use this season to deepen your prayer life. Pour out your heart to Him, sharing your hopes, fears, and dreams. He's listening and He's working even when you can't see it. Like a loving parent preparing a surprise for their child, God is orchestrating details behind the scenes that will leave you in awe when they're finally revealed. Don't despise these small beginnings or moments of seeming inactivity. They are fertile soil, where the seeds of your future harvest are being planted. Your faith is being tested, not to break you, but to prove its genuineness. When you emerge from this waiting period, you'll be stronger, wiser, and more equipped to handle the blessing coming your way. Remember, dear friend, that delay is not denial. God hasn't forgotten you. He's fine-tuning you. He's aligning circumstances, people, and events to create the perfect moment for your miracle to unfold. Trust His process, lean into His love, and keep your eyes fixed on Him. The wait may be challenging, but the reward will be worth it. Your miracle is on the horizon, and these divine delays are ensuring that when it arrives, it will be more magnificent than you could have ever imagined. Hold fast to hope, cling to faith, and let God's love sustain you. Soon, you'll look back on this waiting period with gratitude, understanding that it was a crucial part of your journey to receiving God's best for your life. Number 8. When God begins to orchestrate a life-changing miracle in your life, He often starts with a process of supernatural subtraction. This divine pruning may feel confusing or even painful at first, but it's actually a sign of His loving preparation for the incredible blessings to come. Throughout Scripture, and in the lives of countless believers, we see this pattern unfold. God removes certain things, relationships, opportunities, or possessions, to create space for the new growth He has planned. It's like a gardener carefully pruning back branches to allow for healthier, more abundant fruit. Consider the story of Job, a man who lost nearly everything he held dear, his wealth, 
his children, his health, all were stripped away in a series of devastating blows. Yet through it all, Job clung to his faith, declaring, the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Little did Job know that God was setting the stage for a miraculous restoration. In the end, Job received double what he had before. Your current season of loss or lack may actually be God's loving hand at work, making room for the overflow he longs to pour into your life. Those relationships that have fallen away, perhaps they were holding you back from the divine connections God has waiting. That job opportunity that didn't pan out, it may have been a distraction from the true calling God is preparing you to step into. Remember, our Father is always working for our good, even when we can't see or understand His methods. He knows what needs to be removed so that we can receive the fullness of His blessings. Trust that your less is making way for God's more. This divine subtraction process also serves to refine our faith and deepen our dependence on God. When our usual supports are removed, we're forced to lean more heavily on Him. And it's in that place of total reliance that we're positioned to receive miracles. As you navigate this season of supernatural subtraction, hold fast to the promises of God. He is not a taker, but a giver. Every no is making way for a greater yes. Every closed door is directing you toward the open one that leads to your destiny. Take heart, beloved. The very areas where you're experiencing loss or lack are the precise places God is preparing to showcase His power and provision in your life. Your miracle is on the horizon and God is simply clearing the path for its arrival. So instead of mourning what's been removed, choose to praise God for what He's about to add. Let your declaration be like Job's, blessing the name of the Lord in every season. For it's often in the valley of loss that God plants the seeds of our greatest victories. Your life-changing miracle is coming. And through this process of supernatural subtraction, God is ensuring you'll have the capacity to receive and steward it well. Trust His loving hand, even when you don't understand His methods. Your season of less is simply the prelude to God's magnificent more. Number 9. When life presents us with persistent struggles and weaknesses, it's easy to feel discouraged or question why we must endure such difficulties. But what if these challenges are actually prophetic pain points, areas God is specifically using to cultivate a deeper dependency on Him? Just as a loving parent allows a child to face certain obstacles to foster growth and resilience, our Heavenly Father permits these struggles to draw us closer to His heart and strength. Consider the Apostle Paul's experience with his thorn in the flesh. This unnamed affliction caused him great distress, leading him to plead with God three times for its removal. Yet God's response was profound. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Through this struggle, Paul learned a powerful truth, that his weakness became a conduit for God's strength to flow more fully into his life and ministry. In the same way, your challenges are not random or meaningless. They are catalysts designed by a loving God to bring you into a more profound experience of His grace and power. Those areas where you feel most inadequate or frustrated, they're invitations to lean more heavily on God's sufficiency. The situations that push you beyond your own resources, they're opportunities to witness God's strength manifesting in remarkable ways. Think of these prophetic pain points as divine pressure points. Just as a skilled therapist applies pressure to specific areas of the body to release tension and promote healing, God allows pressure in certain areas of our lives to release our grip on self-reliance and open us up to His healing, transformative power. It's in our places of greatest weakness that we often experience God's presence and power most tangibly. This perspective transforms our struggles from burdens to be endured into gateways for experiencing God's grace in new and profound ways. Instead of becoming frustrated by our limitations, we can view them as invitations to deeper intimacy with our Creator. Each challenge becomes an opportunity to declare like Paul, when I am weak, then I am strong. Moreover, 
These prophetic pain points often become the very areas through which God works most powerfully in and through us. Your struggle with patience may be the very thing God uses to make you a beacon of His long-suffering love to others. Your battle with fear could be the crucible in which God forges an unshakable faith that inspires those around you. Embracing this truth doesn't mean we stop praying for deliverance or improvement in our areas of weakness, but it does mean we approach our challenges with a new perspective, one that looks for God's hand at work even in our difficulties. We begin to ask, Lord, what are you teaching me through this? How can I lean more fully on your strength in this area? As you face your own prophetic pain points, remember that you're in good company. Throughout scripture and history, we see God using human weakness as a canvas for displaying his strength. Moses stuttered, yet became God's mouthpiece. David was the youngest and least likely, yet became Israel's greatest king. The disciples were ordinary men, yet they turned the world upside down with the gospel. Your challenges are not punishment or proof of God's absence. They are precisely calibrated instruments in the hands of a loving father, designed to cultivate a deeper, richer, more dependent relationship with him. Embrace them as opportunities to experience God's strength in new ways. Let your weaknesses become windows through which others can see God's grace at work. In your moments of struggle, hear God whispering, my child, I'm not just working despite your weakness. I'm working through it. Lean into me. Trust my strength. Watch what I will do as you surrender these areas to me. Your prophetic pain points are not the end of your story. They're the beginning of a powerful testimony of God's grace and strength perfected in human. Number 10. When God begins to highlight the stark contrast between worldly ways and His kingdom principles in your life, you're on the cusp of a transformative journey. This process of illumination is not just about knowledge. It's about preparing your heart and mind for a miraculous shift in perspective and experience. In the bustling chaos of our modern world, it's easy to get swept up in societal norms and expectations. We're bombarded with messages about success, happiness, and fulfillment that often run counter to God's design for our lives. But as you draw closer to Him, you'll start to notice a divine dissonance, a holy disconnect between what the world values and what truly matters in God's eyes. Think of Daniel, a young man thrust into the heart of Babylon, a culture that embodied everything contrary to his faith. Yet, in that foreign land, Daniel's commitment to God's ways shone even brighter. His refusal to defile himself with the king's food wasn't just about dietary preferences. It was a declaration of allegiance to a higher kingdom. And it was this very commitment that set the stage for God to work miracles through him. As you navigate your daily life, you might find yourself increasingly uncomfortable with practices or attitudes that you once accepted without question. This discomfort is often God's gentle nudge urging you to see things from his perspective. You might notice a growing distaste for gossip, a newfound unease with materialism, or a deepening conviction about integrity in your work and relationships. This contrast isn't meant to isolate you from the world, but to equip you to be a light within it. As you embrace God's principles, you become a living testament to a different way of life, one marked by love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These fruits of the Spirit become more evident in your life, drawing others to the refreshing oasis of God's love in a parched world. The process of aligning your heart with God's kingdom principles often involves challenges. You might face ridicule or misunderstanding from those around you. But remember, these trials are refining you, preparing you for the miraculous work God wants to do in and through you. As you continue to renew your mind through prayer, studying scripture, and fellowship with other believers, you'll find your discernment sharpening. The will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect, becomes clearer. You start to see opportunities for kindness where others see inconvenience. You discover strength to forgive where the world counsels revenge. 
you find joy and simplicity where society pushes for ever-increasing consumption. This kingdom contrast prepares you for miracles in multiple ways. First, it positions your heart to recognize God's hand at work, even in subtle ways that others might overlook. Second, it builds your faith as you witness the superior outcomes of following God's ways. And third, it aligns your desires with God's will so that the miracles you seek are in harmony with His purposes for your life and the world around you. As this contrast grows, expect to be amazed by God's faithfulness. You'll likely find yourself in situations where your commitment to His ways opens doors that seemed firmly shut. Like Daniel interpreting dreams for a pagan king, or his friends emerging unscathed from a fiery furnace, your adherence to God's principles will create a stage for His miraculous intervention. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and hope. We acknowledge your infinite wisdom, boundless love, and unwavering faithfulness in our lives. We trust that you are always working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of our lives according to your perfect plan. Lord, we believe that you are preparing us for a life-changing miracle. Though we may not see it yet, we have faith that you are aligning the pieces of our lives in ways we cannot even imagine. We trust that every trial, every challenge, and every setback we face is part of your divine purpose, molding us into the people you have called us to be. We pray that you would give us the strength to persevere through the difficult times, knowing that they are merely stepping stones on the path to our breakthrough. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, even when the road ahead seems uncertain or the wait feels long. Remind us that your timing is perfect and that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father, we ask that you would prepare our hearts and minds to receive the life-changing miracle you have in store for us. Help us to let go of any fear, doubt, or unbelief that may be holding us back from fully embracing your plans. Give us the courage to step out in faith, even when it means venturing into uncharted territory. We pray that as we wait for our miracle, you would use this time to refine us, to teach us, and to draw us closer to you. May we grow in our understanding of your love, your grace, and your power. May we become more like Christ, reflecting his light and love to the world around us. Lord, we thank you in advance for the life-changing miracle that is on the horizon. We trust that it will be far greater than anything we could ask for or imagine. We believe that you are able to do immeasurably more than we could ever hope or dream. And we eagerly anticipate the day when we will see your hand at work in our lives in a powerful way. Until then, we will continue to seek your face, to trust in your promises, and to walk in obedience to your will. We will praise you in the waiting, knowing that you are always good and that your plans for us are perfect. We ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. Dear friends, as we come to the end of this video, I want to leave you with a final word of encouragement. God is preparing you for a life-changing miracle, and it's going to be more amazing than you could ever imagine. You may have faced challenges and obstacles along the way, but God has seen your faithfulness and your unwavering trust in Him. He knows the dreams and aspirations that you hold in your heart, and He is working tirelessly to bring them to fruition. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This is God's promise to you today. He has a plan for your life that is filled with hope, prosperity, and a bright future. He is preparing you for a miracle that will transform your life in ways you never thought possible. It may not happen overnight, but keep holding on to your faith and trust in His perfect timing. As you embark on this new chapter of your life, I encourage you to surrender your plans and desires to God. Allow Him to guide your steps and direct your path. Don't be afraid to dream big and believe for the impossible. With God, all things are possible. Remember you are a beloved child of the King of Kings, and He takes great delight in blessing you. He wants to give you the very best and lead you into a life of abundance and purpose. So keep your eyes fixed on Him and let His love and grace be your anchor. 
As we conclude this message, may you be filled with a renewed sense of hope and anticipation for the life-changing miracle that God is preparing for you. May His favor surround you like a shield, and may His peace guard your heart and mind. Keep trusting, keep believing, and keep walking in faith. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen.